Welcome back to Anderson Acres. We're in the kitchen again, and today we are going to be making a cake. I am going to make a basic yellow cake. And yes, this is a basic yellow cake because there's going to be egg yolk. If you want to make a basic white cake, you actually eliminate the egg yolk and just use the egg white. So the first thing you want to do is preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. That's the perfect temperature for baking this cake. Second thing you want to do is get yourself two eight or nine inch cake pans. It doesn't really matter. There's not a significant difference between an eight and a nine inch. The eight inch will just have a slightly thicker cake layer and the nine inch will have a slightly bigger cake layer. It doesn't really matter. So whichever you have, eight or nine, doesn't matter. Give them a good spray. I'm using a canola oil cooking spray, but you can use cooking spray. You can butter and flour. You can make cake goop. It's really up to you. It doesn't matter. So now we're gonna set those aside because we don't need them right this second. Let's put them over here. Now what we're going to do, we're going to need a mixer. I know I don't usually use a mixer, but you really do need one this time. Now I'm using a Bosch Compact 400 watt kitchen machine. I will put a link to it because I really, really enjoy this one. And I forgot to plug it in. We'll be right back. All right, sorry, my mixer wasn't plugged in. You need it plugged in. <laughs> So I'm using a Bosch Compact 400 watt kitchen machine. I'll put a link to it because I really, really enjoy this particular mixer. It's really easy to use. You can get a more powerful one as well, but it doesn't matter that much. I like this one. Nice and small, easy to fit in the kitchen, easy to use. So the first thing you want to add to your mixer is three quarters of a cup of butter. You do want to use butter. Technically, you can use margarine. Butter just makes a better cake. It's creamier. It's more delicious, so use butter if you can. Now we're just gonna whip that up. Now we wanna add about a cup and a quarter, like one and a quarter cups of sugar. There we go, turn that back on. So you don't need to truly whip up your sugar, you just need it to kind of be a crumbly mixture. It doesn't matter that much. Okay, to that we're gonna add three eggs. Okay, three eggs. You can get them from your chickens if they're laying, or you can just get them from the grocery store. Whip that up. And at this point, you can take your spatula and kind of push any collected butter out of your whisk or push it down into the mixture and then turn your mixer back on again just to get that butter whipped in there a little bit more. Okay, give that butter another push. Sometimes your butter wants to ride up on your mixer. That's fine. You just give it a push. Now we're going to add about a teaspoon of vanilla. You can add almond or maple if you want to make a different flavored cake. I'm using vanilla because I do want to make a vanilla flavored cake. Okay, turn that on. <laughs> Now we're gonna add a quarter teaspoon of salt. I'm just using regular salt. You can use any salt, regular salt works just fine. Blend that in. Again, push the butter. Anything that hasn't mixed in yet, give it a push. Most of it's mixed in. So you just have to give a little bit of it just to push it down. Push it down through the blade, there we go. 
Okay, got some on there, doesn't matter. Okay, now you're gonna add three teaspoons of baking powder, and you'll see your mixture starting to bubble already. That's good. Mix in your baking powder. There we go. Now we have two ingredients left to go. And these ingredients, what we're gonna do is we're gonna alternate our ingredients back and forth one at a time. So we have flour and we have milk. Okay, so to start, we have two and a half cups of flour and we have one cup of milk. So because this is already quite liquidy, what we wanna do is add some of the flour, about a third of it, not all of it, just about a third, and then turn that on. Okay, now we're going to add about a third of our milk. Remember, it's one cup of milk, so you're adding about a third of it. Blend that in. So now we're going to add more of the flour. Looks good, turn that on. Little more of the milk. Now the rest of the flour, we're done with flour now, set that aside and blend it in again. Add the rest of your milk. Give that a quick blend. Now it's not finished blending yet, but what we're gonna do now is scrape down our sides in any kind, whether you're using a, mix, a mixer or a hand mixer, or whatever, you need to scrape your sides down. Because even with this mixer, you don't get super high on the sides. So do that, and then again, make sure any of your butter is creamed up. It is, I'm good, but I just like to check. And now you're gonna let your blend, your mixer run for about two minutes on a fairly high speed. I'm not going all the way. I'm going second to last high speed. I don't need a super high speed for this, but you do wanna go on a fairly high speed. So we're gonna turn it on. I'm gonna let it run for about two minutes, but you don't need to watch that. So turn your mixer on, let it run for two minutes. We'll be back in those two minutes. All right, so now our mixture has been quite blended. So we just wanna lift this up. Uh, hang on a sec. Yeah, we're just gonna lift this out of here. Lift the bowl out. There we go. Let that drip off, obviously. Collect that batter. We want as much of this batter as we can get. So get it if you can. I mean, it's not that big a deal if you miss a little bit. Not a big deal. There. Pretty good. So now we need our prepared cake pans. I'm just going to push this guy out of my way. I don't need them. So we're just going to use our prepared cake pans, just like this, half in each one. Obviously, we're doing a, two layers, so half in each one. So put some in one because you don't want to try to eyeball this at first. Some in one, some in the other, and then reserve a little and figure out which one doesn't have quite enough. Because you never do this perfectly the first time, never. 
I promise you didn't do it perfectly. So give these a bit of a tap. See who's a little bit unlevel. So this one needs a little bit more. And that's where I'll put the remaining dough is in this one because you're not going to do it perfectly the first time, I promise. There we go. Okay, we don't need that mixing bowl anymore. So what we're going to want to do is you take these, you give them a shake, and you tap them. Lots of tapping. Okay, the tapping forces the air bubbles to the top so that the air bubbles come out of your dough before you go in the oven instead of baking them and having your cake full of bubbles. So lots of tapping. You can see these air bubbles rising to the top. So tap for a couple minutes. After you've tapped them for about two to three minutes, what you want to do is stick them in the oven for 30 to 35 minutes at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. We will, of course, come back as soon as these are baked. But don't forget to tap your pans. All right, so our cakes are ready. They have been out of the oven now for 10 minutes. You want to let them cool for 10 minutes in their pans so that they don't fall apart when you take them out of your pans. Now, we did spray these with cooking spray, so they should slide right out. There we go. And then we just want to put them back on the cooling rack. There we go. We're going to let them cool completely before we do anything with them. I'm not going to show you what to do with them in this video. I'm going to show you what to do with them in another video. But you can ice them. You can just eat them as they are if you don't like icing. You can do whatever you like with them now that they're cooked. So remember 30 minutes to 35 minutes depending on your oven. If you're not sure if they're done, a toothpick inserted in the center should come out clean. Or you look at your edges, they should pull away from the pan and they should be browned. And if they pull away from the pan, it's probably cooked in the center. So that's about it for us here today at Anderson Acres. I hope you make basic yellow cake on your own. We'll see you tomorrow.